guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because we're gonna try on some blushes, girl. We're gonna see what is the undertone like, how does it blend on the skin. Is this actually essentially worth it? And I picked up the Laura Mercier Rose Glow Color Fusion Blushes. They came with three different shades. I picked up two. I picked up all that sparkles and very berry. And basically it runs for $32 and we're gonna be trying them on it today. It's supposed to be fragrance free, long wearing up to 10 hours. It is cruelty free as well. It's also supposed to have a shimmer in it with a natural finish. So I'm really excited to test them out and just see if it's actually worth picking up, especially for the cost. And let me tell you the size, it's starting to feel a little mini. So I'm really excited to see what the pan size actually looks like. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video video. Everything I talk about will be linked down below in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. And let's jump on in and try them on. Starting off in our first blush shade, this is called All That Sparkles. And I absolutely love this blush shade, you guys. It's so, so pretty. Unfortunately, I feel like you might not be able to see it on the top of my cheekbones once I apply it on. It's just because it does look pretty light. I feel like this would be beautiful on someone who's a lot fairer skin complexion than I. But it is beautiful, you guys. It described on their website as a shimmer dusty rose and I couldn't agree more. I love the undertone to it. I tried my best to build the pigmentation swatched on the back of my hand but I do love the undertone. I do love the shimmer that it has as well. It's really nice and finely milled. I'm hoping that it's going to look like a beautiful glow from within and not look like a straight up highlighter on the tip of my cheekbones. Keep in mind that I'll do my best to apply on and build the pigmentation to this blush shade just so we can, you know, see what it's all about in case you do like it and you want want to possibly purchase this blush shade, but I do love the pan size. I feel like it's a really good size. It can last you a really long time. It does come with a good size mirror, perfect if you're traveling or doing makeup in the car. I do love the packaging as well. Surprisingly, it doesn't have like much of a weight to it. It feels really nice and lightweight. I love the rose gold finish that it has. It feels very luxe. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in and we're going to apply on this blush. By the way, I didn't notice a scent to these blushes at all. So, so far, so good. I mean, obviously it's supposed to be fragrance free but sometimes like even products that are fragrance free have some type of scent so I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay angled blush brush and this is the F107 brush and I'm gonna go in and pick up a little bit of blush just because I don't really know like how pigmented this blush shade is actually going to be obviously it's really light but I still want to see like you know, if I dab my brush lightly, will it give me a lot of color payoff? What is the whole situation when it comes to this blush? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the tip of my cheekbones and then kind of applying it in an upward motion as well, just so I can kind of lift the face just slightly. And so far, I'm noticing that it definitely has a satin shimmery finish to it. It's I feel like it's looking like a straight up highlighter on the top of my cheekbones. You can definitely see the dusty rose pigmentation to this blush, which I absolutely love. I feel like it looks like a natural little blush of color. I feel like it goes really well with my makeup as well. But the finish of it, you guys, I just can't get over it. It almost looks like I've applied on highlighter on my cheekbones, which I'm not a huge fan of. I wish it was a little bit more toned down. I wish it looked like a glow from within, but not look like, you know, I'm already having to reapply powder. I Keep in mind that I do have combination oily skin, so I kind of stay try to stay away from products that are a little too luminous some like this one but so far it looks really really pretty love the undertone let me give you a close clip of how my skin is currently looking so far it's blending really really nicely love the undertone to this blush it's beautiful just the finish of it is a little too shimmery so i'm really curious to see what the other blush shade will look like once we apply it on so let's move on to our second blush shade this is called berry berry described on their website as a shimmer bright berry blush shade and let me tell you guys it is beautiful I'm really excited to apply this on I feel like this would be perfect for the fall winter time for a date night I personally love berry blushes I don't wear them often but I just really like having them in my collection more so but this is basically it this is a swatch that I swatch in the back of my hand and again the formula of this blush feels really nice and powdery and soft it was really easy to build the pigmentation I haven't noticed any fallout when I've dipped my brush into the pans you guys so so far I'm very impressed. I mean, who wants to deal with fallout even on your clothes, all around your desk, in the sink? So I'm really impressed so far. I'll let you know if there's any fallout 
when I go in and use and apply on Very Berry. But so far, I really love the finish. The finish doesn't look as shimmery, to be really honest, as all that sparkles, but we'll see once we apply it on, that's gonna be the true test. But so far, I really love the undertone. I feel like it's gonna work really well with my skin complexion. And again, I personally really like it. I'm surprised that it's not more pigmented or as pigmented as I thought it was going to be just because it looks pretty dark in the pan, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go in with my LMR Cosmetics Angled Blush Brush, and I'll have it linked down below if I can find it for you guys in case you're interested. And I'm just gonna go in and pick up a little bit of product being really light-handed because I don't know how pigmented this blush is going to be because it's definitely more pigmented than all that sparkles. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product, be really light-handed, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the top of my cheekbones and build pigmentation little by little. All right, you guys, this is basically it. I have finished applying on Very Berry. Let me give you an up-close clip of how my skin is currently looking so you can make your own judgment for yourself. Comment down below so far, which blush shade do you prefer? What do you guys think of the finish from one to the other? Such a difference, right? I feel like all that sparkles definitely looks really sparkly, very shimmery than Very Berry. I feel like Very Berry, yes, it's very pigmented, but it blended really nicely. It has a nice glow from within. It's really subtle, very natural, um, but all that sparkles just really shimmery. I honestly feel like it looks really shimmery because I went in to the pan many times trying to hold the pigmentation to this blush shade obviously so you can be able to see what this blush shade is all potentially all about but this is basically you guys I absolutely love the undertones I feel like one's like a daytime blush the other one's more like a nighttime blush but $32 is it worth it to be honest it's kind of I'm finding it hard to justify the pricing and I do find it to be pretty high but this obviously is a higher end brand I do love the pan size the packaging is really fancy really nice but to be really honest, I don't know, something about this collection just didn't wow me as much as I thought it would. I'm really curious to see what the third blush shade will look like, like the finish and the undertone to it. But so far, I like it. I just would say if it's on sale at Sephora, if, you know, if it's on sale on their website, I would say definitely try it off if you want to treat yourself, but I wouldn't say, like, essentially go run it and get it, just because I feel like there's similar finishes and blush shades similar to this one at the drugstore that if you look very closely, you could probably even find Mind. but so far I really love the finish the powdery finish to these blushes you guys is really really nice really silky and soft when I dipped my brush into the pans there was no fallout so I feel like the quality is definitely there it just depends on what you're looking for so that is the only thing but stay tuned you guys apparently this is you know supposed to be long wearing up to 10 hours so I'll continue testing this out I'll keep you guys posted what I think about it and I'll keep you posted in one of my monthly fave and fails but I love that it's cruelty free that it's fragrance free so I hope you guys enjoyed it today Today's video. If you have any questions, comment down below, ask away, or any video suggestions. I'm always looking for video ideas. But this is basically it, you guys. If you've watched this video this far, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I honestly, truly appreciate it. And as always, you guys, have a beautiful day. I love you all so, so much.